What up ninjas, my name is Ethan and welcome to a new top 10 video. Today's video is not going to be about characters, but about the best ways to kill someone with or using items in Smash 4. Once again, this video is based on my personal opinion, so if you're not interested in that, you can always go watch something else. Incoming at number 10, we got Hammer Time. This is probably one of the easiest items to get kills with because all you need to do is grab the hammer and just walk around a little bit and you'll basically hit or kill everyone that comes your way. Now you do have to be a bit lucky because there's also a chance that you can pick up a squishy hammer and when that happens you're actually kind of screwed because uh, it's very similar to Magikarp's splash attack. You expect something to happen but all uh, the, the person with the hammer does is just mash it left and right and no damage will be dealt to any opponent. So you will be vulnerable for every attack but you can't really hit anyone until the hammer expires. Now even though using the hammer is a really satisfying way to kill someone, it's not ranked any higher on the list because all you do is pick up the hammer and just hit your opponent with it. Uh, it kind of lacks creativity. Up next at number 9 we get I'll be back. This is killing someone with the boomerang. If you didn't already know, every time you throw the boomerang and it returns to your hand, uh, it actually becomes stronger. So I think you need to throw it like 5 or 6 times in order to kill someone that is at uh, 100%. The reason I like the boomerang so much is that whenever you throw it, it actually goes through enemies. So it has a certain predetermined distance and when it reaches that point, then it goes back to you. But every enemy that stands in the way will get hit by the boomerang and you can just rack up massive amounts of damage that way. The only thing you need to watch out for is that enemies don't grab the boomerang when you throw it at them. Number 8 goes to Can't Touch This. This is killing someone while you're being protected by the superstar. And this just opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Imagine being in a 2v1 situation and a random superstar just drops from the sky and saves the day. I would be so pissed if that were to happen to my opponent. Like you're winning the match and then this thing comes and just changes everything. I guess that's also kind of the good thing about it because uh, when you're being protected by the superstar there's nothing that can kill you. The only way you can die is when you kill yourself and you have to be a real smart ass in order for death to happen. Unfortunately I have experience with this. Spot number 7 goes to Pitfall. I did my absolute best in order to think of a name or a funny title which I could give to this spot. But unfortunately there was nothing that could really match the situation. If you guys have any suggestions for this, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. Now there are a couple of reasons why I like Pitfall. The first one is that you can just trap someone with it and set him up for a glorious wombo combo. And yes, of course you can mash your way out of it, but there's always some time that you'll be stuck in the ground, open to all sorts of bad things that can happen to you. You can think about a glorious dong expansion, a bowser dropkick, and even an up B by Ness. But yeah, all of that kind of means nothing compared to the final way that you can use Pitfall. And that is because Pitfall has a freaking meteor effect. If you hit an airborne opponent with it, that opponent is going to hit the ground so hard. The only thing you have to watch out for is that your opponent needs to have a significant amount of percentage. Because if you use it when your opponent has like 25%, uh, he's probably not going to die. Up next at number 6 we got Pinball. Now this item can either be your best enemy or your worst friend. And yes you heard that correctly because if you use this item yourself there's also a little chance that it can hit you the moment you drop it and it'll knock you off the stage not giving you the option to recover. Or better yet if you're on the stage and you use this item you can get trapped between a couple of them and you'll just be bouncing left to right, left to right, maybe up and down even until the thing just finally disappears and lets you get on with the match. Now in that scenario it would actually be better to get hit by your opponent because then you'll be stuck between those things but you'll be able to move. I don't think there's any option to uh, tech or to spot dodge or whatever. There's no escape possible unless you get hit or unless one of the bumpers disappears. Now the two best spots to place this item would be either the center of the stage so you can just kick your opponent towards the bumper and he'll come back to you and take another hit or you could put it exactly below the ledge so that your opponent can never grab the ledge in order to recover. Playing with the bumpers is guaranteed to give you a good laugh or to make you rage and throw stuff. At number 5 we got David versus Goliath but with a little twist because in this version of the story Goliath wins the fight. So what I mean with this is being a character that picks up a mushroom while simultaneously picking up a lightning strike that also shrinks your opponent and that is just... Can you even imagine the horror you would do to your opponent in a situation like that? Even on a fresh talk you will always be a kill percentage. Now unfortunately there is also a downside, or two actually, because uh, out of all the matches I played, the, the mushroom and the lightling never spawn at the same time. So the timing is kind of strict and once you're actually big and your opponent uh, is a mini, it's really hard to hit them. You, you would not say that, but uh, for some reason you always go past him or uh, he just goes under you and that can be kind of annoying. Spot number 4 goes to the whoosh. I'm pretty sure that's how I wanted to pronounce it because I wrote it down and I had no idea what it would sound like. Anyway, this item is probably the equivalent of Rosalina and Luma because from what I understood this seems to be the most hated item ever. 
Now I can totally understand why, but that doesn't change the fact that I really enjoy killing people with this. If you're standing on the stage and you got this item in your hand, there's like a 99% chance your opponent is not going to make it back. Just imagine Smash Bros coming out for the Nintendo Switch and one of the new characters has this as a side B. We've arrived at the top 3 and the third spot goes to Shaolin Soccer. If you're not familiar with that movie, it's about a bunch of martial artists uh, that put their martial arts into practice when they start playing soccer and when they hit the ball it just does crazy things. It's kind of similar to when Captain Falcon hits the ball with his knee. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be one person in the comment sections like Herder, this is not soccer, it's called football. But the item is literally called a soccer ball so it would be kind of weird if I were to call it a football then. So yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory. You just hit the ball with the best attack you got and then you just pray that it hits your opponent. It is kind of weird though because sometimes you hit the ball with a really strong attack and then you also hit your opponent but your opponent doesn't get that much knockback. And then other times when you hit a ball with another ball, the second ball just KOs someone at like 50%. So it's kind of inconsistent which makes it weird but it doesn't make it any less awesome. Before we start with number 2, I'm gonna put a little spoiler warning in, so if you haven't seen season 7 of The Walking Dead, I suggest you skip this one, just for your own good. Alright, so up next at number 2, we got the Negan. Again, let me give you a short explanation. So Negan is this new villain in The Walking Dead, and he kind of smashed the heads of a couple of main characters in, uh, using a baseball bat. But since he's such an awesome villain, I thought I'd name this after him, so yeah. Number two, the Negan, and that is just using the baseball bat and, and just one hit KOing pretty much everyone. And I know, you can also try to shield it, but then you better make sure that it's a perfect shield or you'll be sure to take the next hit. So in my previous top 10, I let you guys know how much I hate the sound of Yoshis that are recovering. Uh, this is the complete opposite of that. The sound it makes when you hit someone with a baseball bat, it's, it's so satisfying. This is truly music to my ears. And look at all of them, just taking it like a champ. Alright, we have arrived at number 1 and this spot belongs to Ganon Time. This is gonna seem so much less impressive than I intended it to be because it is staged, but hopefully I can justify that. So the reason I gave this uh, the first spot is because I actually did it unintentionally once while playing a casual match with some friends on Temple. So I was just having a good old fashioned brawl with a friend of mine uh, on the top left corner of Temple when he knocked me off the map and then immediately afterwards picked up a timer. Now I got slowed down but before he picked up the timer I went into my side B and for some reason he just he ended up getting into it and I just took him down it was the last stock and you should have seen his face because there was nothing he could have done. There was no one left to save him and there was no option for him to get out of it. He was staring at me like really dude? That's how you're gonna win the match? And I was just laughing my ass off. I think I even put my controller down and that just pissed him off a little bit more. So yeah guys, that was yet another top 10. You can leave suggestions for me in the comment section down below and I might do a top 10 based on that. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Peace!